Hello everyone and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2. Now in the previous episode we took on the the three bosses down in the Lost Bastille. I keep calling them sentries but they're actually sentinels but I guess that's okay. And uh, I forgot one pretty important area that uh, we have to clear here in the Lost Bastille and I'm going to cover that right now. First come here and kill this guy. This is the place you come here right after you take the the giant eagle. Drop down here after you kill this guy. Wait for these dogs to round up. Hmm. I think they don't want to get close. Anyway, go ahead and drop this barrel down. Back off. And a huge explosion will occur. Probably most of the dogs will die, so go down. No, I want to pick up the item. Got a soul of a nameless soldier. Oh, where? Oh, crap. Scream the shit out of me. Where did you come from? Oh, bro. Don't do that. Come on. Yeah, more souls. Yeah, the, the dogs dropped this. That guy, he jumped from up there. Wow, this is the first time that I ever happened that. Okay. Now head back into this door and go ahead and open this chest. And inside we'll find a rather important key and the cover silver shepherd ring. But we already got that uh, plus one. So we got the key that we wanted. Now we're going to the door that we're actually going to use it for. You can just skip this uh, trip and go back to your bonfire. But I'll just take the long run. Because I also want to farm some souls. Because there is a... Oh, hell. Oh, okay. I got my ring of life protection arm. That was unfortunate, but it's okay because... Now I'll just go to the right bonfire. Oh, good thing I had the ring on. Okay, now travel back to the exile holding cells. And uh, as soon as you get here, Run back in the Lost Bastille again. No heads night this time, he doesn't respond. Drop onto this guy's head. And we got all the dogs here. Die already. Sometimes it takes one hit to kill them, sometimes it takes two, I don't know why. Now after you you're done with that. Come back here. Now the, the last time that guy killed me. That guy back here. But we won't let that happen again. I think there, there's a mummy here. Yeah, there's a mummy. Oh crap, two mummies. Now we're using the backstabbing though. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot about this item. Some flame butterflies. Okay. Now this uh, key that we acquired opens this door. And it's a uh, small little area. It's pretty neat to us. Where's the other one? There's one more, isn't it? Yeah, well, how did he end up up there? I don't know. Okay, now this uh, huge rock is uh, prompting you to, you know, just throw it into the well. We will do that in a minute. First, I want to explore a little bit because I don't 
really remember this area. Okay, no, we're not going this way. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, this here will bring up a cell. And there will be several mummies in it. So they're pretty easy to kill, just be ready. Take a big swing at them. And uh, as soon as you kill them, you get the Wanderer set. Okay, now travel back here and up this ladder. Be careful, those guys. Go ahead and kill them. It's going to be so much difficult. Oh crap! Uh oh, this this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, I'm not dead. That's good. I hate their arrows. Uh, I really do. What the hell is happening here? Damn. Okay, I guess his armor. I don't really care about that. These guys are stupid. Now, go ahead. Climb up this ladder up here. And we got an item. Large soul of an endless soldier and a green blossom. As soon as you get that, drop down here. And we got our, our Drake robes and uh, the shield. Now, I think in order for this uh, big hole in the wall to open, you have to blow up some, uh, some barrels. Now, come this way. As you can see, there is a Pharaoh's Lux on here. And a few guys here trying to ambush us. We won't let them do that. Just lure him back at you so you have some room to maneuver. And finish him. As soon as you do, go ahead and kill the other guy too. Now we got two chests here. I don't think that any of this is a trap. Maybe it is, I don't know. And we got the powering dagger. And a twin blade, which is a dex weapon. I don't think. Oh, one more chest. Okay, many chests in this room. And we got the bone stuff. I don't think there's... Um, this uh, Pharaoh's Lockstone, I think it reveals uh, two paths that you can take. One of them leads... No, maybe both of them lead up to items. We will do that in a minute. I think there's a... There should be a hidden wall around here somewhere, shouldn't there? Coming up this way. And uh, well, you end up here, back again. You see, this alley is where we were, and we don't want to go back. I think there was a secret passage somewhere in these walls. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Let's see. It's not easy finding the passages by yourself. Anyway, we'll just head back down. And uh, how many more uh, Faros Locks do I have? Let me... Do I even have any? I got one. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use it, because I will acquire more. This opens up two paths, as you can see here. Go ahead, take a big swing. And we got a chest in here. With a soul vessel. It's a nice room.
and this way you got a chest that is was already opened. I think we've been here, yeah. Have we? No. Anyway, no, I don't think we've been. Why is it just open? Oh yeah, maybe, maybe we've been down here. Yeah, we have been down here. Okay. My my sense of direction is awful. Now you can actually roll down to that item. I think it's a, it is a bonfire aesthetic. Oh, this is a room with the mummies, isn't it? Yeah, great, great stuff. Good fun. Let's go. I'm gonna skip these mummies. I don't really care for them. I'm just gonna run past them. be heading back down. Oh crap, the, the mummies are after me. Oh, there's an item here. One, two guys. I have to close this door in order to take it. Okay, let's hope they won't trap me. And I just open the door again. No, I don't care, they're backing down. Another soul. Yeah, let's go back to the bonfire. I don't think there's anything else here. Let us rest. Well, before we do anything else, we're gonna go head back to Medjula level up and do something very important that I don't know why I didn't do earlier. I need to burn my sublime bone dust, which I haven't done in a really long time and I don't know why. Which improves our Estus flask and we really do want that. Talk to the Emerald and level up. Okay, I'm gonna take my strength all the way up to 30, because we're really gonna need that. One in Endurance. Hmm. We definitely need more Vitality. Also, we could use some... Uh, I'll put one in uh, Adaptability. Vitality. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's improve our vitality. Take it all the way up to 20. And I'll put the rest in... Okay, I can level up. And more. That was quite a few levels. I got there. Which is good. Maybe I'll go ahead and burn a soul or two. Yeah, why not? I get plenty. Let's go ahead and burn these. And we get one more level. More health, why not? What the hell, we're in it, we need health. Now, what else can we do? Let's go see if I, I can upgrade some more. I'll take my sword up to plus three, why not? Mm -hmm. We got one twinkling that in about. I'll be around. We wanna use that later. Okay, now I think I can equip the tower shield. Do I have it? Yeah, yeah, I got the tower shield. Now, what I like about this shield is that, well, except for its uh, great physical defense, it has uh, good fire resistance, which we will be needing. Well, not. Yeah, no, we, we will need it. But what is my. 68.8, it's okay. We're not fat rolling, so we're good. Now, 
I know that in the last episode I said that we will be taking on the Sinner's Rise, but we have to clear another area first. So we could beat the, the lost Sinner easier. Now, he's not that hard to kill. Even if you don't do nothing, you can just go ahead to the Sinner's Rise, but uh, for the sake of the walkthrough, we'll go and clear the Belfry Dun. Which has one of my least favorite bosses. Not that it's not hard, it's hard to kill, but it's uh, pretty annoying, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's a dog down here. Ah, oh, this shield is amazing. Look at this. Cool. More souls? Yeah, more souls. Soul of a dog. If you want to go ahead and talk to that guy and uh, exhaust his dialogue, he will ask you if you want to join the... You know what? Let's just... No, there is no reason. I'm not playing online. If you are playing online, this uh, area could get uh, really difficult. And I'll explain why in a minute. Now, these guys, their attacks go pretty much through... Oh, crap, there it is. We got invaded by uh, an NPC. Now these little guys attacks go right through shields. So be careful. Well they don't go right through shields, but they do a fairly amount of damage even if you block the attack. Now this is the boss fog, but as you can see you can't uh, go in there just yet. We have to open this gate. Yeah, they drop rusted coins. Uh, as soon as you go up here, this is uh, the most annoying part of all, I believe. As you can see, I think there are four of these little guys and the spirit that uh, invaded us. Now this fight, I might die here. I'm just, I'm just ashamed because these guys, they they are hard to kill and plus they draw out their bows if uh, you're far from them oh and they throw fire bombs all of this great stuff so try to roll along uh, oh crap look at all that damage now I have figured out that this is the best way to avoid them yeah we haven't aggro that one yet Okay, this wasn't as hard as I expected. Yeah, you can see he's doing some damage even though I blocked his attack. He's not that hard to kill, but they're, they're just annoying when they're in a bounce. I think there was one more. No, did we kill them all? Okay, that was much more easier than I expected. We got two radiant life gems and two... No, one... What, what I, okay, there is the last guy. I knew there was one more guy here. Oh, look at all this damage. Now, why I said that we need the... Uh, the good fire resistance, you'll see in a minute, because this boss, well, they use fire and a skeptic spice. I don't think there's anything uh, else up here. Now you can just run up here and uh, pull this and uh, run back down without having to fight all of them, if you find this fight uh, difficult for you. It's easy to run them there, you run faster than them. And this opens the boss fog. Now I might die here, I'm really hoping again that I can do the... And we got the Belfry Gargoyle. And 
yes, there is more than one. Now these guys, if you're a sorcerer or a, a miracle user, you won't have trouble dealing with them. They're they're really susceptible to magic, to light especially. So clerics, they can take them. Uh, they can take them okay. Now me, on the other hand. third one came to life. It's uh, way, way easier if you dodge their attacks, but uh, as I mentioned, I suck at dodging, so I'm not gonna do that. My dodging skills are awful. Now, as soon as they drop on half health, they will play a pretty defensive uh, way. I tried to take down. Oh, crap. No. That's a lightning attack. Now when their health is low, they'll turn into a defensive stance. They'll just spit fire at you. So try and uh, take them on very quickly once their health drops down. Come on, I can kill that monster right there. Okay, there we go. Always, always, always focus on one of them. Never drop them below half health, because once one of them draws below 50% health, another one will come to life. And also, if uh, this is taking you too much time, again, another gargoyle will come to life. As you see, they don't hit that hard. Another one came to life. Great. And they're spitting fire. Now most of the times I I I've never died actually in this fight. But you know, just because I'm recording now I might die. Because this shit happened. Now this is taking me some time and uh, one more gargoyle may came to life. Avoid that. And their backstabs. Oh, come on, this is this is taking too long. Um, I might bring another gargoyle to life. There are five of them, and uh, you can actually fight all five of them at once, which is not going to be easy. And this is not so good. Avoid that. Now avoid everything, not just that. As you can see, blocking works really well for me. Yeah, yeah, that's why I love the shield. Now we got four more to take. Oh crap, yeah, they're the best. Perfect timing for my dog to start blocking, of course. I'm, I'm really sorry about this dog, but you know, I just can't, I can't cut right now, so yeah, this is me playing while my dog is barking on the background. Let me take care of that one, three more to go. Yeah, I will probably do this in one take, yeah, yeah, probably, 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 yeah. Oh no. Where is the, th the last one? Oh, it will come to life too. Don't worry. Oh, come on. I hate that when they do that. I hate when they're dodging. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Well, let me use another life gem because the last one life. Now, all we have to do is kill these three. Yeah, yeah, 
barrage of attacks. Now you can, at this point, you can drop them all on Half-Life and they will stay pretty defensive and uh, you could wait for one of them to do it, you know. Ah, this is good. This is not good at all. Come on. What do you think? I don't care about your fire. Where the fuck am I? Oh. oh, okay, two of them are on the defensive. As you can see. So we can either take the third one down half life and try to approach them cautiously. Oh, just, oh no, this is not good, this is bad. Yeah, there we go. There goes one. No, no, don't, don't do that. Crap. Okay, okay, there are just two of them. We, we can take them. It's okay. Now, as a melee, I wouldn't not uh, want to drop them all half-life because they will start... Oh crap, that was a good one. There it goes. And down. Okay, now it's one on one. This is... Yeah, this is supposed to be easy. Yeah, as you can see, no, if I can do it, everyone can do it. Really. Just to be sure. Tricky combo. And how did he hit me? Oh come on. Oh don't don't do that. It wouldn't be Wouldn't be okay if I died right now. Yeah, come on, come on. Come down. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. I lied. Okay. And we got their soul. And now... Okay, yeah, there is one more item here. Don't forget to take it. Because it's the soul of a proud knight, which means lots of souls. Now, as soon as you kill them, head down here. You can go back up, as you can see, and in here we got Southern Ritual Band. Fire lead up here. Now there are lots of dogs down there, but we really want these items. Why I didn't rest? Okay, let me rest first. I don't have my Airstus flask. of dogs but oh yeah yeah and you also get invaded by another dark spirit this guy he he's annoying and I'm dead okay of course I am why wouldn't I be Yeah, that guy is annoying, there are lots and lots of dogs down there. And I really need to take back my souls. Okay, quickly head back down, grab my souls. Damn, 
have so many dogs. Oh, crap. You know what? I will just keep, uh, skip to the point where I clear this area. Because I might die a few times. Okay, so I kill the dogs and uh, this is the only guy left here. So you can see his technique. You can uh, easily backstab him. But don't try to. Yeah, he, he can be annoying. And it's really annoying now because my frames are dropping so low and I can't fight him properly. But okay, he's vanquished. I don't have to die any more times. And here we got the Bastille key. This is the act. This is the only reason why we fought that boss. It's a totally optional boss, you don't have to clear it. And then it's out of action. Fall. I don't know how you spell that. Now, as soon as you clear that, let's go back to your bonfire. I'll head back to Medulla and level up a bit. And I will finish this episode. Because it took some time. And uh, we will be taking on the Lost Sinner, one of the the first actually great soul I think we are we're coming across in this uh, walkthrough. And uh, you'll see the uh, come on, please. Yeah, I'll show you the easiest way to fight him. You can summon an NPC with you. Look at you. You can summon her, and she will be really, really helpful. What else could I use now? As a knight, I will probably focus on my strength and uh, health, endurance, and vitality. So I'll go ahead and top them off. Well, I don't top them off, but I'll give them up to 20. And more, more vitality. Yeah. I will actually focus more on vitality, I believe, because I really want my. <laughs> I want to be able to. Oh, to hold all my all my items because well as a knight our armor and stuff can be pretty heavy so yeah so yeah I'm probably running really low on memory now that's why my frames are dropping so I really hope I was helpful one more time if you like this video or it if it has been helpful to you please leave a like or a comment I'll be sure to